Hey guys. So first off, I wanted to say thank you so much to all those who wished me happy birthday. I had an amazing 22nd birthday. If you haven't seen the video yet, I will link it down in the description below. I did take some clips while we were in Vancouver, Amanda, Danny, and I. And I honestly can't imagine any other way I would have wanted to spend my birthday than with two of my best friends in town. And, you know, just those girls. It was a lot of fun. And I got a new tattoo. I'll, I'll show you guys. Still in the process of healing, so it still looks a little bit gross, but it's my butterfly. So besides getting a tattoo, I went and saw Lights Out with Danny and Amanda. I will be making a uh, review video for that, so stay tuned. We also saw the Symphony of Fire fireworks. It was the uh, finale. It was the state's finale and it was Disney themed, which was awesome. And the next day was the Vancouver Pride Parade. Now I want to focus specifically on the Pride Parade. Um, this was my first time at a Vancouver Pride Parade and I was super, super stoked for it. We heard that Trudeau was going to be there, which he was. I got a little bit of footage of the top of his head because obviously it was super crowded. Uh, and while we were walking along the street to find a place to watch the actual parade, uh, looking at all the floats and everyone having so much fun participating and decorating their floats and adding final touches, it just, it was really, really cool to witness. But I will say I had one experience while at the Vancouver Pride Parade that, um, that kind of angered me a little bit. I was with Amanda and Danny, and Amanda managed to weave her way through the crowd so that she was standing on the sidewalk. Now, because we were in Vancouver and it was so crowded, I didn't want to lose either of them in the crowd, so I politely tapped on the lady in front of me, uh, one of the ladies that Amanda managed to, um, to weave past um, to get to the sidewalk. And I was flat out honest, I just said, hey, you know, I'm sorry for, uh, for interrupting, but is it possible that I could just scoot past you guys so that I could meet my friend on the sidewalk? We're from out of town, uh, it's really crowded, and I really don't want to lose either of my friends in the crowd. And so I began to, um, to slowly make my way through the, uh, through the crowd. Now this specific lady, and the other lady across from her, so standing here and here, and they were looking at each other while I was weaving through. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but this this whole situation that I'm about to explain to you just really it seemed like they were in cahoots or something, like or they knew each other, but they started like violently shoving me. And keep in mind that when I asked politely if I could go by to meet up with Amanda, they had moved, so they had made room for me to move. But they were violently shoving me. And it wasn't like playful, like back and forth, just joking, shoving. Like it was like aggressive shoving. Like they were like pushing me with so much force that I could have potentially been pushed like right in the crowd and fallen over. Like that's how hard they were shoving me. Now, usually in this situation, I wouldn't do anything. Would I keep the events that are happening at the moment in the back of my mind for venting purposes later? Absolutely. Would I be irritated? Oh yeah. But something just snapped in me and I looked at the woman on the left and the woman on the right and I said and I quote get your hands off me and get up out of my space and they both just stepped back like this the fact that I said something made them stop so thank god they stopped <laughs> Anyways, after that, Amanda ended up uh, meeting us at a Scotiabank nearby because it was just so darn crazy. And we watched the rest of the Pride Parade, or what we could see of the Pride Parade, from uh, one of the Blends coffee shops that was nearby. I think the only thing that really bugs me about this entire situation is the fact that I know that it was crowded and I know that people had, you know, limited space to move around in but there was definitely no need for two grown women to be violently and aggressively shoving me as hard as they were. Anyways, you guys, that was my first experience at a pride parade. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and uh, I will see you next time with a brand new video. Bye.